Our success rates at the Vasectomy Reversal Center of America are among the highest outcomes nationally, with over 92% of our patients having a normal number of sperm in their ejaculate by six to eight months. Our pregnancy success is 70%. Outcomes are important, very important, as the number of reversals your microsurgeon performs and their personal success reflect their expertise and predict your outcomes. There are two microsurgery procedures that can be performed when doing a vasectomy reversal. One is a vasovasostomy, which is when the vas deferens is reattached to the vas deferens. The other procedure is an epididymovasostomy, which is when the vas deferens is connected to the epididymis. The decision of which reconstruction needs to be performed is that made at the time of surgery. Sperm are made in the testicle, and then they go into the epididymis, which is where they learn how to swim and mature. They then travel into the vas deferens. Before the vasectomy, they traveled into the vas deferens and mixed with the fluid from the prostate and the seminal vesicle, and then were expressed in the ejaculate. Since the time of your vasectomy, you presumably have been making sperm just fine, assuming there has been no use of testosterone or steroids, or exposure to radiation or chemotherapy. The sperm were made, but then they hit a wall where the vasectomy was performed. A few things can happen. The sperm just die and they get reabsorbed by the body. They can leak out of the end of the vas deferens and form a small cyst or a spermatocele, or they can back up into the epididymis and cause a blockage there. We need to make sure that a blockage hasn't formed in the epididymis, and this is more common the farther out you are from your vasectomy. By examining the fluid from the testicular side of the vas deferens, we can determine if a blockage has occurred in the epididymis. If the fluid from the vas deferens is clear and free-flowing, and sperm are present in this fluid, then we are happy, and we can perform a vasovasostomy. Our success rates with this are close to 98%, with an associated pregnancy rate of 75%. If the fluid is similar in quality, clear and free-flowing, but no sperm are present, then we will still do a vasovasostomy, but the success rate is 85%. If the fluid is of poor quality, meaning that either there is no fluid present or it is thick and pasty, then we know that a blockage in the epididymis has occurred and we perform an epididymovasostomy and the success rate is 65%. Since our success rates are 92%, this reflects that most patients are in fact able to have vasovasostomies, but it is still important to choose a microsurgeon who can perform an epididymovasostomy if it is necessary. Thank you for your interest in the Vasectomy Reversal Center of America. Please contact us at 1-855-HAVE-A-BABY if you would like additional information. We would be happy to answer any questions you might have or to assist you in making an appointment with one of our three microsurgeons for a consultation.